guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to adjust your valves on a B18, B1. Let's get started. All right, to start, you want to adjust to TDC starting with this here. This marking here on the crank to this uh, line here on the timing cover is your TDC mark as well as, as these are pointing up. So right now, cylinder one is in TDC and that's where you want to start. You want to start at cylinder one. All right, guys, we're going to start adjusting cylinder one first because we've set it at cylinder one TDC, which is the cam gears pointing upwards. So, um, yeah, the specs that we're going to be adjusting to is on the intake side, it's going to be three thousandths of an inch to five thousandths of an inch. And on the exhaust side, it's going to be six thousandths of an inch to eight thousandths of an inch. So I'm going to be adjusting it at the, the minimum tolerance. So this one's going to be a three thousandths of an inch and this one's going to be a six thousandths of an inch. All right, one thing to note, a little bit different from uh, the D-Series is that you do not adjust the clearance from here. It is between this cam lobe and the rocker here. So you just stick the feeler gauge in here and adjust the tolerances here. So let me just show you an example. So here's a three thousandths of an inch feeler gauge and you're going to stick it right here. This is where you need to be. To, and you just want a little bit of drag. Um, so one, one other way to check is that if it has a little bit of drag on the 3,000 of an inch, set it to 4,000 of an inch and it shouldn't even go through at 4,000 or it gets really tight. Yep, that's right. We will tighten that one down. Double check it. 4,000 doesn't go in. Three thousand goes in with a little bit of drag. All right, that one's good. We'll adjust the other one now. And the torque specs is 18 foot pounds on that bolt. All right, next we're gonna adjust cylinder three since we're all done with cylinder one. And in order to do that, we have to get the up arrows to point towards the exhaust side. So line up the up arrows to this line here. And you always rotate counterclockwise. Next, we're gonna adjust uh, number four, which means the up arrow has to be pointing straight down against this here. So obviously the lineup marks are going to be pointing to the side. Right there. All right, now it's the final one, which is cylinder two, where the up arrow points to the side. All right, now all the valves are adjusted. We'll, we'll start all over and double check it again because we want to check it a couple times just to make sure the clearances are still all good. Nothing changed while was, uh, adjusting them while rotating. So we're going to set it back to number one TDC and check them all over again. All right, guys, that's how you would adjust your valves on a B18B1. It's the same process for a B18A as well as a B20. Anyways, I hope this video helps you guys out. If you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe. And Share my videos. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.